At this time tomorrow There's something you need to know I got used to see You as a friend But deep inside There's something else I know
Okay, so did a nice little gild here. And the Indian paintbrush, this one looks like it's maybe not gonna make it. They don't transplant very well. The other three seem to be uh, just fine so far, but they do need a host plant. They're semi-parasitic plants, a plant species. So they actually latch on to other um, plant species roots to increase their water uptake and nutrient uptake. Uh, so they do need companion plants, so to speak. Uh, I chose this lingonberry. Thought it was fairly similar uh, to what it was growing around, kinnikinnick, things like that. It's a similar bush. I think it potentially will host paintbrush well, I'm hoping. Um, it's also recommended, you know, if you transplant a few other wildflowers or um, clump grasses it also likes. I don't really want any kind of grass in here, so I'm going with the lingonberry for host, putting that quite close to my paintbrush. And we have some Ver Veronica uh, cover, uh, ground cover I thought would do well here. It's a perennial as well. So all these are perennials in here. Um, just that they be a nice contrast in color, the uh, orange and the blue. So hopefully that'll work out. They can survive on their own because um, they're just considered semi-parasitic. They're not fully parasitic. They don't fully need other plants to survive, but they will be much more vigorous. Um, a couple other plants that are great for them are lupins because they tap nitrogen. So that's one of the better companions for them. I don't want any lupins here because they do they often have powdery mildew on them. So I don't want it close to my blueberry. Um, but lupins are a great companion for uh, Indian paintbrush. Paintbrush can handle um, fairly diverse uh, pH uh, in the soil. Um, they often grow though where it is uh, a bit acidic from like 5.1 to 5.5. They actually do quite well. Um, so I was thinking they would do well with the blueberry since it likes an acidic soil as well. And same with the lingonberry um, on the more acidic side. It is more recommended to start paintbrush from seed um, that way because I was detaching the, the host plants um, the root taps I was ripping them apart right when I transplanted these and I was really careful not to um, decimate any of them uh, there was quite a few where I went to select these and I was real careful I made sure that there was um, larger mother plants and then I would take some of the smaller ones around that plant so I didn't uh, disturb the landscape or you know decimate um, them growing there in any way so I just grabbed four and uh, three out of the four are doing quite well um, this one here I didn't really get much root on it probably won't survive but we'll see and uh, yeah I just hope they um, come around and they can send out new roots and to the lingonberry uh, plants and start using them to help them thrive. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.